G. Jane Moore flatly unmasks Harry's miserable exiled life, Duke feels extra lost in Montecito. Prince Harry's role has been called into question after Loose Women presenter Jane Moore reacted to the claim the Duke of Sussex is now only seen as Meghan Markle's support act. Prince Harry has been described as submissive whereas Meghan Markle is said to be dominant during public appearances. Meghan Markle, 40, and Prince Harry, 37, were recently seen together in New York attending the Global Citizen Live concert in Central Park and later visiting a school in Harlem. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were pictured on the cover Time magazine's yearly 100 Most Influential People in the World. An accompanying photograph showed Meghan, dressed in an all-white outfit, in front of Harry, who was wearing a dark brown shirt as he leant on his wife's arm. Loose Women panel member Jane Moore, 59, has now addressed the criticism the royal couple has received online in her latest column. The ITV star suggested that people had likened the cover to a cheesy promotional shot, with Harry as his wife's support act. Jane has since called the assumption into question and claimed that Harry is still trying to find purpose, since stepping down from his senior royal duties. She wrote in her column to The Sun, the Time magazine cover shot of Prince Harry standing behind wife Meghan has been likened to one of those cheesy promos for a hairdresser posing with his celebrity client. The insinuation being that she's the star and he's the support act who just happens to have a useful royal connection. When discussing the body language differences between Kate Middleton and Prince William and the Sussexes, Bruce claims the Cambridges have shared relationship which in his opinion is in stark contrast to the submissive behaviors that Harry shows towards Meghan. Expanding on this, Bruce explained why Harry's body language suggests he is submissive to Meghan when they are out in public. The expert claims the natural and logical cause for this submission would be the lack of a mother in Harry's childhood. He looks for the guiding hand that he so missed in his formative years. Jane went on to say that she feels the cover feels like something different. What I see is a man desperately trying to find purpose after life in the army and feeling unsure about where he fits in, she explained. During his time in the British Army, Prince Harry served two tours in Afghanistan. He served in the army for a total of 10 years, and rose to the rank of captain. The Loose Women panelist suggested that Harry comes alive when he is socializing with current and former military veterans. Jane finished, he clearly wants to do something worthwhile, so perhaps he should step away from endlessly preaching about climate change and target his efforts towards working with veteran soldiers in the US. He'd doubtless enjoy it more and wouldn't get branded a hypocrite for flying private. Back in August, Prince Harry reached out to military veterans following the news that the Taliban had taken control of Afghanistan, as the United States withdrew from the region. The Duke of Sussex issued a joint statement alongside Dominic Reed, the CEO of the Invictus Games, and Lord Allen of Kensington CBE, the chair of the Invictus Games Foundation, encouraging military veterans to reach out to each other and offer support for one another. What's happening in Afghanistan resonates across the international Invictus community, the statement read, which was shared on Twitter. Many of the participating nations and competitors in the Invictus Games family are bound by a shared experience of serving in Afghanistan over the past two decades, and for several years, we have competed alongside Invictus Games Team Afghanistan. We encourage everybody across the Invictus network, and the wider military community, to reach out to each other and offer support for one another. Harry founded the Invictus Games in 2014, an international sporting event for wounded, injured, and sick servicemen and women.